Okay, well, what we're looking at is a WaveTech Model 142 high frequency voltage controlled generator. Um, kind of a big, lengthy name. It's a function uh, generator. Generates uh, sine waves, triangle waves, square waves. It'll do pulses, both positive and negative. And um, it'll provide up to a 30 volt uh, peak to peak signal output. The variable voltage control here. And then you have a calibrated output attenuator down here, so you can go from 0 to a minus 60 dB with a uh, uh, complete level adjustment capability here. Um, we're calibrated from, oof, looks like 1 to 10 on the dial. And we have uh, 10 ranges on this thing. We go from 0 0.001, uh, range of times 0 0.001. So uh, if we were 10, that'd be a 0 0.01, that'd be a hundredth. Um, up to a meg times 1 million. So we got a 10 million signal on there right now on that uh, BNK oscilloscope up there. We're looking at a 10 meg signal. Um, we can, we have a, a symmetry control that uh, when you activate it, first thing it does is it uh, reduces the frequency to a tenth of whatever it was. Then it allows you to change the symmetry of the waveform. Like here are the, uh, the sine wave now looks more like a, uh, uh, a sawtooth. Uh, we're back to a sine and then we go in reverse to the opposite sawtooth. We can uh, adjust a um, DC offset using this control. So as you look at the top, you can see that we're, we went positive. Or we can go negative with the offset. Or we can go back into the middle. Okay. Here's our uh, attenuation. We'll go... 0 dB, that's less attenuation, so right off the screen. There's 10 dB, 20 dB, 30, 40, 50, and so on, up to 60 dB. So you can get some really fine attenuation on there. We have a uh, external DC offset input, and we also have a voltage control generator input. Uh, you put a voltage in on this, and... Um, it will cause the oscillator to change in frequency. So like if we start out at um, say one megahertz and we apply a, a voltage in there, we can shift that. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Okay, so we are uh, right now on the times 0 0.01 position. We've dialed in a 10. So that would mean that we would have 0.1 hertz coming out. Now we take a look at our screen on the uh, on the B and K, and what we see is we are drawing approximately one half of a sine wave, either the upper half, lower half, or something in the middle, and that's across the entire screen. So we have ten divisions across the screen. We are running right now 0.5 seconds per division. So with 10 divisions, that's 5 seconds. So if I was to have a complete sine wave in 5 seconds, I'd be looking at 0.2 hertz. However, I'm only seeing half of a sine wave, which would mean 0.1 hertz, which would confirm the setting that I have, which is 10 times 0 0.01 or 0 0.1. Very slow, very hard to... You know, with any certainty, see the uh, the waveform, but uh, it's there. Okay, well, I wanted to demonstrate the uh, voltage control generator input, and I decided the best way to do that would be to sweep this unit 
using a ramp generator. So I have a ramp generator connected up here. I'm using the uh, ramp output divided by 100. I go from 0, zero to 1000, so uh, I could read up 0 to 10 divided by 100 to be 0 to 10. I'm going up about halfway, as you can see, it's about 5 volts output. And um, I'm kind of confirming that with my uh, uh, multimeter. The multimeter isn't fast enough to, to actually get the 5 volt signal out. I did measure it on the oscilloscope and I made sure that I was getting a full 5 volts and not too much. Um, and what we will see is we can see that the, uh, the generator is being swept. And it's swept at like a thousand to one. So as it hits, goes from zero, uh, you see the frequency it starts at, and then it sweeps it up uh, to a thousand times. So as I uh, as I cha change the duration, we would see the sweep rate change. As you can see there. And if I was to drop the ramp voltage, we wouldn't sweep it quite so much. You can see we're sweeping it less and less now. But I'm definitely using my ramp voltage to sweep the generator, and it's working well. Okay.